On the grand stage of military technology, we often tend to focus on renowned male scientists. However, there is a woman whose name may not be as widely recognized as some peers, yet she has quietly transformed the landscape of naval warfare with extraordinary wisdom and unwavering perseverance. She is Yang Yi, chief designer of the Type 022 missile speedboat for China's Navy. Beneath her seemingly delicate exterior lies a passionate heart dedicated to the motherland's coastal defense, having designed a maritime weapon that strikes fear into U.S. aircraft carriers. Yang Yi grew up in a unique scholarly family. Born in 1970, unlike most girls fascinated by painting or singing, she showed profound interest in military models from childhood. Those cold metal models, seen as mere objects by others, became keys to a mysterious military world for her. She often immersed herself in assembling models, meticulously studying every detail and envisioning the future in her self-constructed military realm. Who could have guessed that these childhood hobbies, like sown seeds, would lay the foundation for her brilliant achievements in national defense research? In 1992, upon graduating from Wuhan University of Technology with a ship engineering degree, Yang Yi faced a pivotal choice. Opportunities to study abroad or enjoy a comfortable life awaited temptations for many. Yet driven by unwavering passion for China's coastal defense, she resolutely declined these offers, joining the Naval Equipment Research Institute as a researcher. This decision reflected her vision and selfless dedication, particularly rare in that era. In 1997, a momentous task fell to Yang Yi, developing a new speedboat. Internationally, speedboats were then dismissed as useless due to flaws like poor survivability and high detectability, leading many nations to abandon research. But Yang Yi saw differently, understanding China's naval needs and, firmly believing, in an offshore defense asset. Undeterred, she dove into vast technical literature, researching global speedboat advancements. Countless nights saw her in the office, refining designs, conducting simulations, and seeking the perfect blueprint. Let's now explore Yang Yi's legendary journey in creating the Type 022, how she overcame challenges to craft this world-renowned weapon. We'll also compare it with similar Western projects to underscore its significance. Inspiration Strike From Shangshan to Catamaran Design During the arduous R&D process, Yang Yi searched for breakthroughs like a traveler in the dark. A casual trip to Shangshan Mountains sparked inspiration, the Chuanling Catamaran Structure. This idea, like a lightning bolt, illuminated her path. The catamaran design offered unique advantages, exceptional stability in rough seas, superior mobility, and critically advanced stealth via infrared radiation shielding. For a combat vessel operating in complex theaters, these features were indispensable. Western navies, while using catamarans, never achieved Yang Yi's stealth standards. U.S. catamaran ships, for instance, excelled in other areas but lacked stealth, making them vulnerable to modern reconnaissance. Her insight wasn't just a design breakthrough but a challenge to convention. Merging natural observations with naval architecture showed her innovative edge. This intuition became the cornerstone of the new design, highlighting how innovation defines military tech superiority. Five months in the office, devotion beyond measure inspired, Yang Yi dedicated five consecutive months to the office, surviving on instant noodles and brief naps. This intensity was unprecedented in Western R&D, where work, life balance and logistics often limit focused problem solving. Driven by the mission's gravity, knowing the design safeguarded national security, she pushed through exhaustion. The final blueprint stunned reviewers, earning unanimous praise. Her sacrifice embodied China's scientific spirit, proving that breakthroughs demand unwavering commitment. Type 022, the aircraft carrier killer, launched in 2002, the Type 022 shocked the world. Weighing just 220 tons, its stability rivaled 2,000-ton frigates, enabling operations in harsh conditions. Armed with 8 g 83 anti-ship missiles, 200 to 250 kilometers range, and a 50 knot speed, 90 kilometers per hour, it outpaced torpedoes and evaded missiles. Combined with advanced stealth, it became a genuine aircraft carrier killer. Compared to Western counterparts, the Type 022 led in stealth and sea adaptability. U.S. missile boats, while powerful, couldn't match its low visibility, 
European designs prioritized comfort over combat edge. This breakthrough bolstered China's offshore defense and pioneered new naval concepts. Legacy of innovation beyond the Type 022, Yang Yi led 50 plus major projects, authored 50 plus reports and 18 papers, and won top military science awards, two first class, seven second class. Her contributions mirrored few in Western academia, requiring both expertise and institutional support to testaments to China's investment in defense R&D Aden Gulf Escort, global expertise in 2011, she became the first female researcher to join China's 6th Gulf of Aden escort fleet. Applying her expertise to navigate piracy-ridden waters, she optimized ship operations and devised tactical plans, outperforming Western peers who relied more on hardware than integrated operational insight. Her deployment showcased Chinese female scientists' global impact. Yang Yi's story is one of dream, duty, and perseverance. She fortified China's naval might with intellect and dedication, shining as a star in defense research. Her journey reminds us, with vision and grit, no challenge is insurmountable. Join us in honoring this trailblazer. Like, share, and spread her story. Stay tuned to Defense R&D and contribute to global progress. Thank you for reading.